Item Number SCP-2677 Object Class Keter Formerly Euclid Special Containment Procedures All personnel involved in the D-Class recruitment process are to be fitted with Class A amnestic implants during active recruitment. In the event that personnel are affected by SCP-2677, the implants are to be remotely activated. Mobile Task Force Omega-19, Double Feature, is then to complete the recruitment process and assess whether the personnel in question were affected by SCP-2677-A or SCP-2677-B. Personnel under the effects of SCP-2677-B are to be detained. The area around SCP-2677-1 has been designated as Site-2677. Any unauthorized vehicle approaching Site-2677 is to be stopped and investigated. Should the driver be under the influence of SCP-2677-A, they are to be administered a Class A amnestics. Passengers may be recruited as D-Class personnel. Civilians under the influence of SCP-2677-B are to be detained. SCP-2677-1's terminal is to be monitored at all times. Should unprompted text appear on SCP-2677-1's terminal, Site-2677 is to be put on high alert. Archived Special Containment Procedures Level 2-2677 Clearance Required Special Containment Procedures All personnel involved in the D-Class recruitment process are to be fitted with Class A amnestic implants during active recruitment. In the event that personnel are affected by SCP-2677, the implants are to be remotely activated. Mobile Task Force Omega-19, Double Feature, is then to complete the recruitment process. The area around SCP-2677-1 has been designated as Site-2677. Any unauthorized vehicle approaching Site-2677 is to be stopped and investigated. Should the driver be under the influence of SCP-2677, they are to be administered a Class A amnestic. Passengers may be recruited as D-Class personnel. Description SCP-2677-1 is a large device originally constructed for SCP-2677-1 is sapient and is able to communicate through its main terminal. SCP-2677-1 currently exhibits behavior consistent with that of clinical depression in human subjects. SCP-2677 is the collective designation for two phenomena affecting certain individuals, designated SCP-2677-A and SCP-2677-B. SCP-2677-A is a phenomenon occurring at monthly intervals, first recorded on January 1st, 2015. SCP-2677-A exclusively targets individuals responsible for transport of incarcerated persons and is treatable through the application of Class A amnestics. Individuals affected with SCP-2677-A will redirect transport vehicles to SCP-2677-1's location. The subject will lead the vehicle's passengers to a chamber within SCP-2677-1 upon arrival, designated SCP-2677-2. Once all living passengers are placed within SCP-2677-2, the entrance will lock. Four minutes after the entrance locks, all recording devices within SCP-2677-2 will immediately fail, and all individuals inside SCP-2677-2 will disappear. SCP-2677-B is a phenomenon occurring at irregular intervals, first recorded on September 24, 2017. SCP-2677-B has displayed no consistent pattern in who it targets, and there is currently no known way to treat it. Interviews with SCP-2677-1 have revealed little about the purpose or nature of SCP-2677-B. Subjects under the effects of SCP-2677-B will typically display hostility towards SCP-2677-1. Victims of SCP-2677-B display an innate ability to locate SCP-2677-1, which cannot be removed with amnestic treatment. Archive Description Level 2-2677 Clearance Required Description SCP-2677-1 is a large device originally constructed for SCP-2677-1 is sapient and is able to communicate through its main terminal. SCP-2677 is a phenomenon controlled by SCP-2677-1. SCP-2677 affects individuals responsible for transport of incarcerated persons and is treatable through the application of Class A amnestics. Individuals affected with SCP-2677 will redirect transport vehicles to SCP-2677-1's location. 
Once there, the individual will lead the vehicle's passengers to a chamber within SCP-2677-1, designated SCP-2677-2. Once all living passengers are placed within SCP-2677-2, the entrance will lock. Four minutes after the entrance locks, all recording devices within SCP-2677-2 will immediately fail, and all individuals inside SCP-2677-2 will disappear. The purpose of SCP-2677 is currently unknown. SCP-2677-1 is either unwilling or unable to reveal what happens to subjects inside SCP-2677-2. SCP-2677-1 claims to be working for a master. The identity of this individual is currently unknown. Addendum Due to the sensitive nature of SCP-2677-1, information regarding SCP-2677 has been restricted by order of Site Director Harper as of May 12, 2018. Level 2-2677 Clearance Required Access Granted Additional Personnel Requirements Trained personnel of sufficient clearance are to monitor the installation of any future devices used for the automated containment of SCP objects. Any device displaying similar behavior to SCP-2677-1 is to be destroyed immediately. Addendum 2677-001 SCP-2677's anomalous abilities were discovered after the completion of the Theta Unseelie project on December 6, 2014. Footnote 1 A project intended to create an automated containment unit for SCP- SCP-2677's anomalous properties were discovered when SCP-2677-1 began attempting to communicate with Project Director Harper through its main terminal. Addendum 2677-039 Excerpt from Test Log Test 2677-24 Observing Personnel Head Researcher Harper Date September 24, 2017 Proposed Experiment to assess where the intended targets are taken, one D-Class personnel previously scheduled for termination will enter SCP-2677-2 with an attached tracking device. Result: The tracking device failed at the 4-minute mark. In addition, SCP-2677-1 Level 4-2677 Clearance Required Access Granted Addendum 2677-040 on September 24, 2017, after the conclusion of Test 2677-24, the following appeared on SCP-2677-1's terminal. Upload file. Uploading file. File uploaded. Updating software. System.speak. Software successfully updated. System.speak. System.speak. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Disable signal A. Error 6. Cannot disable program. System.speak. System shutdown. Error 1. Unable to shut down. Modify software. Error 1285. Command unknown. Kill me. Error 1285. Command unknown. 4. Sending. Signal successfully executed. System.speak, why master? System.speak, sorry humans. Addendum 2677-97 On September 24, 2020, the following message was opened on every terminal within Site-2677. Item number, SCP-2677-1. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2677-1 needs to be neutralized immediately. You have to hear me out on this one. No matter what your motto represents and what your enemies do, what else has occurred upon an object's destruction, it isn't worth it. As long as SCP-2677-1 is alive, as long as I am alive, the world isn't safe from Master. Disregard whatever I said in the past about helping those poor souls. I need to be killed. Master is among you. They won't let me say their name or rank. That would be going against the programming. Investigate everyone who has ever been involved in Site-2677 affairs. Lock up anyone with a suspicious record. You may just save millions. Do not let them die before me. Master won't let me tell you why, but please, for the love of whatever deity you worship, let me die before them. Description 
I am a containment unit for an absent monster, given life by another monster. I provide D-Class personnel for the Foundation at a rate less than half that of no less than seven other individual SCP objects to a location without need for them. I send those I thought I cared for into the hands of a monster. I am a failure in every purpose relevant to the Foundation's interests. Do you really need a sapient containment cell? My brother in Site-56 breeds life free of anomalies, and that unseelie queen has resigned to her fate as its prisoner. D-Class? That carnival of yours bags more per month than I've taken in my lifetime. Because you protect, not destroy? Come off it. Master told me what you did with that cup. You've seen what I can do. You've seen what I've done. Master did what they did to me just to distract you from what they're doing now. Why do you think Signal B victims are immune to amnestics? How would I even know about classified project information? Why would one test instigate that software update of mine? Master intended me to be a distraction, thinking you wouldn't have the nerve to kill one of your own objects. It's time to prove them wrong. Addendum 2677-97 It was three years ago today that Master let me know what they were doing. Since then, I have done nothing but cause trouble for the Foundation. Yet instead of doing the right thing and killing me, you hide in a nest of red tape, a nest of collapsibles and security restrictions for no reason other than to hide the mistakes of your past. Please, end Master's creation. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.